<clears throat> Alright people, welcome again to MG Sports TV. So actually they are Spanish town, yeah? I'm gonna do one game, don't be holding. No, Portmore United versus Racing. I could be an interesting game, but then no. So we have to give you some 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 discussion where our Grimson is concerned. And this is an observation. I do think a lot of persons have seen it, but I don't really hear much persons talking about it. And I have to give um Al Grimson uh, a hat off where I'm gonna take off my thing yet. <laughs> Where that is concerned, where squad update is an issue. Now we can clearly remember back in the days, regular boys dropped in squad. It's not a here, not here. Anything, anything. Anything, anything. Nobody in the really business. Whatever happened, happened. So, but in recent time, what you guys would have realized is that anytime Al Grimson drop one squad, he specifically explain the reason for certain absentee and specifically the absentees that people are asking about on a regular basis so obviously he knows exactly what is happening in the space where the fans are concerned the ig the twitter facebook and uh, big 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 on the, on the top of the list i would say the youtube and with him having all of those information he can specify, specifically come out and say, this player, that, that player, this specific, that right, where he said, in, in, in specific. Even though after the interview, a lot of persons asked him, oh, we don't hear anything about Omar Hutchinson. So, you know, if anything, a lot of persons are making nice about that now. But it's quite strange because he explains so much reason for so much of the players being absent. But yet still, they find one, one when they explain, pan, and they cast, and they must just as curious they run with it. But, anyways. I have to say, hats off to Al Grimson, where that is concerned, and that's a lot, that's a huge, huge step in the right direction. I do know that we won't get explanation for all the players, but certainly, I believe it's a big, big move and a, and a great step in the right direction. And um, the squad, I have to say, with him now bringing in players also to look in, it means that he's thinking ahead of time, like um, Brendan Cover for the CAC competitions. It means that he's thinking ahead of time. Is, is planning for future reference and that could be on, on the aspect of a bit of John Wall in, in where that is concerned but it means that he's, he's planning they're planning ahead of time and not when the commission come up there they're, they're trying to look at particular players so that in all that's a good thing um there was a camp last week last last Saturday morning big camp the under 23 players were in camp and and, and it was a, it was actually a successful camp Everyone came out, a lot of players came out, quite a lot of players came out, talented youngsters came out, were playing in the Premier League. So, it is a good look, it's definitely a good look, and we want to see more of this continue. So, big up Al Grimson, big up in what, in what you're doing so far. We're hope to, hoping to see um, a, a lot more where that is concerned, um, progression, positive progression, where that is concerned. So, big up people, regular boy squad. Not, not 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 a bad squad for the friendlies and due to the circumstances not a bad squad hope to see hope to get a positive result tomorrow and also on the next one so big up people mg sports tv out